I am doing a hose identification. Uh, here's the carburetor. And this hose here is the fuel line. So this hose running in here is the fuel line. All the way through here, underneath here, the fuel filter. Let's see, here's a hose back here, a hose on this side. You got two a hose here and a hose here. I'm not sure what they go to. This is throttle. Pretty sure. Throttle. Choke. Choke and throttle. Choke. And that's about it. Uh, here is I guess this is the idle or something. Just about does it. I'm gonna jerk his carburetor out. Take a look at it. Okay, what we're doing is uh, we're rebuilding the carburetor on an Arctic Cat 300 4x4. This is a 1990 uh, 99 model uh, Arctic Cat to to put a brand new carburetor on it. This thing right here. Uh, would be with assembly and and putting everything back together would be approximately six hundred dollars. Uh, you can buy this carburetor on Amazon for about three forty. But before I do anything drastic, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to dip it and deethanol it. So uh, right here I've got the uh, I got RA written on this. Uh, that's the right air. If you're looking down on it, just looking toward the back, the back of the four-wheeler. I've got the right air. Right here, I've got the left air, LA. Got the fuel coming in. I marked it with fuel. This is the choke. And here is the throttle. And what I can do is use this to for reassembly if I have any trouble. Okay. I'm going to start taking it off. Okay, the next piece is this right here. This piece. Uh, this is the choke. Uh, if, when I move the choke, you can see it uh, moves it in and out. Uh, it's a little bit dirt. It's a little bit dirty. But and I'm going to stretch that spring out a little bit. But that's one thing I'll definitely do. So that's the choke. Okay, now we've took off the side cover that covers the um, the throttle, and it exposes the throttle and the throttle cable. Just to show you that it's working, we'll apply the throttle. So we know it's opening it up. Uh, those are the screws for the uh, throttle cover, that thing. And underneath that is the choke, the choke itself, and the choke spring. Okay. Now I'm going to try to figure out how to get this, uh, this off. Alright. Now what we've got here is the, um, the nut that holds on the throttle cable right here. And basically it just fit into it and slid, slid in just like it's right here which gives it tension and that's a spring the little screw right here you see underneath which is on this cable is an idling screw which we can adjust which it needs a little bit more idle so there we go for that anyway and that's what it looks like
should be. Well, it took me about 10 minutes to get that out. That that was hooked into this. That was hooked into that. And then the cable came down through the top, right through here, to the top of this. And that little wire hey, ran down along through here and hooked in, and that's where that pin went in. What, not really hard to figure out, but well documented to put back together for DIY. Move on to the next thing. Okay, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. This come off the bottom of the carburetor. And uh, this is a drain for the bowl. Okay, the bowl has a gasket. If you're going to uh, dip your carburetor, you got to make sure you take that rubber gasket out or the dip will eat it alive. But this right here came off the bottom the bottom of the carburetor like this kind of sort of like this and the next thing and these bolts here that I'm putting in the bowl go with the bowl it also connects to the idle cable that fits directly up in here and it raises the throttle for idling it's adjustable and it screws right up in there okay. like I said I don't want to get too far ahead of myself next thing I'm taking that is the float and that's right here this is the float to get it out you have to knock a little pin out and that pin is right here and I've already started tapping it out so it's it's about ready to come out anyway but once I get the float out then I'll start working down toward the jets. Uh, like I said, I'm a DIYer. Know very little about it, but it's possible to do it yourself. Uh, the reason I'm videoing is to help put it back together. Um, like I said, I've got some more parts here. I've got the cut, the side cover that goes to the looks like a gasket is supposed to go there. Uh, the side cover, the bolts for the side cover, and this is the um, that is the let me zoom in on it. That is the choke, and this is the choke spring, and this right here little piece that is the piece that goes right here in that little spot right there that locks in the uh, throttle cable so I guess we'll call it a locking throttle cable nut something like that okay once again get a good picture of this right here so The float is pretty self-explanatory. And the pin's coming out and the float's coming out. The float doesn't get dipped because it's a float. Okay. 
that's it for that part right there okay I'll turn it back on just a little bit more just a little, a little bit later okay after you take out the float you're gonna see a, a little part hanging down see the little pin it's just hanging on by a little piece of metal and um, at first you would think that was a jet but it's not it goes down in that hole the uh, pin right here that the float sets on uh, when it's f when the bowl right there fills up with gas uh, the float floats and pushes this pin up and it regulates uh, how much fuel I would imagine so that's pretty much that part get a better look at it And it sits right, right on the top of the f float on this little metal thing. And it'll just probably just fall off. I'll give you a better look right there. Okay, we're gonna go and dig down into the jets right now. This is the main the the main jet right here and we got some washers and stuff and we're just gonna break it down and 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 soak this carburetor tonight okay that's it for that part okay I just removed this little screw right here and it went this little screw right here goes right beset right under the float right there and there we go this little bolt right here or little nut goes right here in the bottom of the bowl I imagine it's the drain plug uh, for the bowl if you want to uh, drain your bowl if you're parking it for winter time it looks pretty nasty okay gonna turn it off for a little bit okay I've started the dipping process of my carburetor and uh, whenever you have a an old uh, four-wheeler like this 1990 1999 Arctic Cat 300 4x4 sometimes you gotta do that hopefully it's, uh, we'll get it running and this bad boy will be uh, hauling deer this year okay we're gonna let this set for I think it's 12 hours I gotta read on it though but uh, it's gonna eat all that ethanol junk and I'm going to take and uh, place an order for some seals and uh, for the bowl. I'm going to get a new uh, seal for that one. New seal for, that covers the uh, throttle casing. And that'll be it. Okay. See you in a little bit. Oh, notice uh, on the air intake I wrote... A carb with an arrow that shows how you know so I don't get it backwards but anyway not a too hard job uh, if you've never done it before you need to do it with someone and that's pretty much it uh, a good thing to do right now is go back through your parts and identify them and repetition is the motor of learning and good luck all right see when we put it back together uh, when you take off uh, when you disassemble parts on your uh, carburetor you want to make sure that you don't dip the uh, the seals the diaphragms oh. uh, because it will dissolve in the uh, carburetor cleaner so I'll probably order a new one of these just just
okay everything's been dipped and clean everything that's not a a seal or plastic or anything like that but carburetor looks not completely brand new but um, looks really uh, really clean uh, cleaning tip uh, q-tips and pipe cleaners really helped out after I I dipped it longer than the manufacturer specification which is 20 minutes I dipped it overnight and it's pretty bad the ethanol I just let in there and it was just terrible on the seals um, after I got it out I dried it off and took a brush to it broke up as much as I could then I got out my gun cleaning kit and sat down like with cleaning any pistol or rifle and just spent time with it and watched a movie while I did it uh, after that I rinsed it off with water and then uh, used my air compressor to blow it out and make sure everything was dry now I'm just waiting for my parts to come in and I'll reassemble and put it all back together but that's pretty much it do, do, do. again this video was originally designed for me to help put it back together but hope it can help you too this is a DIY on tearing down a carb mark us out